Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. Our headquarters are here in Fort Lauderdale. Church, prophecy rooms, healing rooms, deliverance rooms. Hallelujah. We have a mass deliverance service on Saturday. Make sure you get involved in that if you need that kind of help. God is good. He wants to set the captives free. Amen. I'm the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. We're doing prophetic life together, encouraging one another, judging dreams, interpreting words, doing all that you would do in prophetic life, growing, learning. Amen. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. There's something else I want to remind you of. Now I can't. Oh, yes. The Spirit Prayer Challenge, the 90 Day Spirit Prayer Challenge. As I mentioned to you, that is up and running. I got it up and running and we'll be kicking that off today with the resources. I'll tell you more about that later. Amen. I will tell you about that more later. So stick with me as we pray today. I'm the author of our devotional mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. Uh, I think I might have blown my voice out this weekend a little bit with all of the praying and the groaning and the travail at the intercessors invitational. My God, my God, my God. Tell you more about that later as well. Uh, But the devotional today I'm reading is from Victory Decrees. Victory Decrees, the Daily Prophetic Strategies for Spiritual Warfare Victory. And here's uh, the title is The Enemy is the Same Yesterday, Today and Forever. Sound familiar, doesn't it? The Lord says, I am your God. I am the same yesterday, today and forever. The enemy of your soul is competing for Godship in your life. He is also the same yesterday, today, and forever. Satan has no new tricks. He has no new strategies. He has no new tactics, says the Lord. He doesn't need any because mankind continues to fall for the tried and true lies. Rise up above your contemporaries who are so easily deceived by the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, and choose to serve me with your whole heart. Stay close to me, and you will not fall for the devil's lies, says the Spirit of the living God. I like it. I love it. Amen. God is good. Hebrews 13, 8, John 8, 4, 4, Revelation 12, 9 are the scripture references for today. The prayer starter and the decree. Father, help me discern the truth from a lie. Your word is truth. Put me in remembrance of your word when the enemy is working to deceive me with crafty lies. I decree every enemy strategy and tactic is null and void in my life. I declare I discern every lie of the wicked one and reject it with everything in me in Jesus name. Father, we thank you this morning. We praise you. We honor you. We adore you. You are the one true living God. You are amazing. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are. (laughs) It's enough that you are. Because as long as you are, everything's going to be all right. As long as you are, we're going to get that breakthrough we've been praying for. It's going to happen. As long as you are, we can rest assured that nothing shall by any means harm us. Oh, those weapons formed against us, they might appear as if they're harming us. But in the big picture, in the big picture, in the big picture, they will not harm us. They may do a little job on us, molding us into the image of Christ, teaching us how to lean in a little longer, how to trust a little stronger. But no weapon formed against us shall prosper. It cannot prosper. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. Would you hear me today? It cannot prosper. It may look like it prospered, but it cannot prosper. It may look like the weapons the enemy has formed against you are prospering. But the Bible says that no weapon formed against you can prosper and let God be true and every man a liar I know what it looks like I know what it feels like but the Bible says that no weapon formed against you can prosper oh it may look like the devil's got one up on you but it's a lie it's a deception it's a temporary disruption in your blessing road it just cannot happen oh it's not really prospering it might look like oh God I swear somebody would just get on board with me this morning God we praise you because you are the creator God nothing is created apart from from you. The enemy has no creative power. He just has the power.
power of deception oh we created our minds uh, issues in our lives because of the lies that the devil has spoken to our heart we will not do this any longer we will not give in to the wicked ones wiles any longer we will not give heed to the devil any longer we will not give ear we will not give our mouth we will not give our mind we take it back now in Jesus name oh Lord break deception off of our mind great and mighty God break deception off of our mind oh whatever cracks we have whatever kinks are in the hose of the flow of your spirit into our life God take out the slack break off the deception help us to see what we could not see before oh God enter in with light the entrance of your word brings light help us Lord to walk in the prophetic life that you died to give us the life of breakthrough the life of hearing your voice and knowing your will and seeing what the father is doing we want to step into that life a life of truth a life of peace we thank you Lord that no weapon ah, no weapon no weapon no weapon let me put it to you this way what is the weapon of the enemy is lies right he's the father of lies right isn't that what he uses he uses he uses lies right isn't that what he uses he uses lies no lie formed against us can prosper it's one of the enemy's main weapons really all he's got is the power of suggestion lies witchcraft there is witchcraft there is witchcraft but let's stick with the lies for a moment no weapon formed against you shall prosper how about this no lie formed against you shall prosper because the lie is a weapon of the enemy no lie formed against you shall prosper it may have its way with you for a season it may hold you back for a time but it ultimately will not prosper because God's truth will set you free little by little by little and then ultimately God's truth truth himself will come back on a horse with angel armies to set you free completely from this fleshly tent your mind will be renewed you won't believe lies anymore when you're in eternity there won't be lies in your mind anymore you will see the truth we will become like him no lie formed against you shall prosper but I decree the truth shall set you free no witchcraft formed against you shall prosper but I decree the power of the Holy Ghost envelops you and you walk in strength and might and although weapons may be formed although weapons may be launched although weapons may be crafted although weapons may be deployed although weapons may be released although weapons may be aimed right at your heart that weapon ultimately shall not prosper God works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes oh what the devil meant for harm that weapon he meant for harm that weapon of mass destruction that he released into your life that seems as if it has caused harm what the devil meant for harm permanent harm what the devil meant to take you out for good what the devil meant to just bring you to your knees forever what the devil meant to destroy that life that God gave you God will turn it around what the enemy meant for harm God will turn for good he'll work it for your good that's what he does he works it he turns it he shifts it we got to pray we got to pray the whole context of Romans 8 28 is prayer read Romans 8 the rest of it before you get to Romans 8 28 there's a context of prayer he works all things together for the good to those who love him and are called according to his purposes yes but before that we see that it's in the context of prayer so father we ask you today to put that spirit of prayer on us that we would pray without ceasing that we would pray at all times that we would pray for everybody Lord put that spirit of prayer upon us so we can pray that would be our first response to pray to praise to thank to rejoice not to get down and out and discouraged and depressed God would you help us today to stay prayerful as we enter this spirit prayer season help us Lord to stay prayerful help us Lord to release our prayer to release our praise to release our worship to release our warfare so that we can empower the angels to hearken to your word according to Psalm 103 20 so that we can empower the angels to work with us as they work for you to execute your word in Jesus name God help us today we want to do things your way God we want to <laughs> we want to walk worthy of our calling we want to walk in this prophetic life 
No weapon formed against us shall prosper. I decree it in Jesus' name. Either God is a liar or the devil is a liar. And we know who the liar is. And the God that I serve says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I wish somebody would just go meditate on that for about a month. I wish somebody would grab hold of that word because it sure seems like the weapons are prospering. I'm going to have to do a teaching on this. Father, help us today to believe your word for real. All of it. <laughs> help us, Lord, to believe your word, to really believe your word, to really believe your word. What it says. We are victorious. Somebody needs to hear this. You have the victory. It belongs to you. You possess it. It is within your reach. Jesus paid the price for it. Many of you get it with your mouth. <laughs> Many of you step into the breakthrough with your mouth, not your feet. We have to step in with our mouth before we step in with our feet. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? We step into the breakthrough really with our mouth. Our mouth goes first. You ever seen a runner running a race and they break the tape and they lean into it and actually the, 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 the their head goes and their chest goes through the tape before their legs because they're leaning into it. Some of you, some of you need to lean into your breakthrough with your mouth. You're trying to walk into it. You're trying to run into it. You're trying to skip dance and jump into it. But it's your mouth that goes first. Judah goes first. The praise goes first. The worship goes first. Your mouth goes first. Your mouth, your mouth leads your feet into the breakthrough. Come on now. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Your mouth leads your feet into the breakthrough. God help us today to speak breakthrough words, to sing breakthrough songs, Sharamashabashi, to lift up breakthrough worship, to pray breakthrough prayers, to make breakthrough intercession, to sing breakthrough songs, to pray breakthrough tongues, to make breakthrough decrees, breakthrough declarations. To confess your breakthrough promises. Come on. Your mouth leads your way into the breakthrough. I've never seen it like that before. But isn't it true? When Jehoshaphat was uh, under siege by all those vast, that by that vast army. They praise. They worship. That's what brought the breakthrough. That's what brought the confusion into the enemy's camp. When Joshua was leading the Israelites into the promised land. It was their mouth, the shout that brought the breakthrough, wasn't it? Yeah, their feet were doing something. They were marching. But it was their mouth that brought the walls down. It was the shout. It was God in the shout, empowering the shout. Oh, I wish I could get three people to believe me this morning. So, Father, let there be breakthrough in our mouth. <laughs> let that spirit of breakthrough emanate from our mouth to tear down the walls, to send confusion into the enemy's camp. Because our words... Are in line with your will. Our words are in line with your great and precious promises. Our words are speaking life and not death. The power of life, not the power of death. Our words. Our mouth. Come on. During this 90 days uh, spirit prayer challenge, God's going to deal with your tongue. See, the Bible says that only the Holy Spirit can tame the tongue. <laughs> that we can't tame the tongue. Guess what happens when you pray in the spirit as much as we're going to be praying in the spirit? Your tongue will begin to submit to the Most High God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Tame our tongues, God, that we would speak breakthrough. Help us, Lord, to think breakthrough. Help us, Lord, to get the concept of breakthrough so down deep in our heart <laughs> that when we speak out of the abundance of our heart, breakthrough comes out our mouth. Come on now. Oh, come on now. 
come on now come on now come on now breakthrough in our mouth shaka ta ra ba 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 she ye ba sha ma sha ba sha ba shaka ta ye ke te ro ba 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 i hope you all taking the spirit prayer challenge with me stick on till the end you'll find out how she be 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 ya ba sha ba shaka ta ra ba shaka ta ra ba shaka ta ra ba she jesus jesus Jesus. Now listen. The Lord spoke something to me yesterday morning with regard to my life and many who were there at the intercessors invitational. And if this isn't happening in your life now, you can be assured that it will one day if you do your part, God will do his part. Listen. As I was preparing for service yesterday morning, the Lord said something to me. He said this. He said you're tipping over. the ministry is tipping over the church is tipping over and immediately i thought of the book i think it was malcolm gladwell who wrote it called the tipping point and that's been a term in business for a long long time and a tipping point is is the moment when an idea or a trend or a social behavior crosses thresholds tips over and spreads like wildfire that's that's the definition that's the malcolm gladwell definition it's a point when a group or many group members rapidly and dramatically changes its behavior in widely adopting a previously rare practice in other words it's a point of breakthrough do you understand me it's a point of breakthrough it's a point of breakthrough it's a point when things change it's a point when everything you've worked for begins to manifest it's a point when all the seeds you've sown begin to come back as a harvest it's a point at which You see with your own eyes that everything begins to work where nothing was working before. You kept on and you kept on and you kept on. Listen, it's that Galatians 6:9 moment where the Bible says, "Do not grow weary in well <laughs> do not grow weary in well doing, because in due season you will reap if you don't faint." Don't grow weary in well doing. I want all of the you who are out there who are weary to decide, to choose not to be weary anymore, to ask God for the grace not to be weary so that you can hold on so you can get to this tipping point. The Lord said you're tipping over. And I remembered that in the middle of service, in the middle of worship, and I started looking for a scripture and of course I know there's no scripture that says tipping point. That's a business term, that's a cultural term. But then the Lord said what i'm talking about is the prayer bowls in heaven that you and your team and others who are praying for you have filled are tipping over <laughs> revelation 8:3 through 5 this is what i'm going to pray for you today track with me revelation 8:3 through 5 then another angel having a golden censer came and stood at the altar and he was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense with the prayer of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand then the angel took the censer filled it with the fire from the altar and threw it to the earth this fire from the altar it's like the power of God released from heaven to change things in the earth and as our prayers are lifted up to God these golden bowls are filled and filled and filled and filled until they reach a point when the bowls tip over and pour out God's power pour out God's provision pour out God's prayer answers the bible speaks of in James 5:16 the effective fervent prayer of the righteous person avails much and sometimes it seems that when we pray nothing is happening but the bowls are being filled up when you pray you're filling up these prayer bowls in heaven and in God's perfect timing in the horaeos as i was teaching yesterday in God's perfect time your prayers are mixed with the fire of God his power and the angels cast them back down to earth and your situation changes everything changes what seemed barren one moment is breakthrough the next so even if you don't see your prayers seeming to do much good in the natural realm you have to understand what's happening in the spirit realm when you pray you're filling the bowls in heaven and when they're full they're going to tip over they're going to pour out answers hallelujah this is in the bible and the lord says you're tipping over that's what he said to me and i'm going to pray that for you and i turned over to prophet vanessa in worship and i told her this quickly and i said the good news is the bowls are tipping over 
I said, the bad news is now we have to fill the bowls again. Amen. And if you want to live in constant breakthrough, you've got to be in constant prayer because that's what's filling the bowls. And some prayer answers come randomly, but some prayer answers only come when the bowl is full. And so now I'm walking in a season of prayer answers. And I'm going to ask you to keep praying for me as I keep praying for you every morning. And I pray for you right now that you would have perseverance in prayer. That you would pray always and not grow faint. That you would not lose heart in praying for the situation that you're praying for. And I come into agreement with God's will for you in that situation. And I say right now, I am helping you fill your bowls. Because I come into agreement for your breakthrough. And I ask you, Lord, to give them perseverance, to give them stamina, to help them to pray without ceasing in Jesus' name. I'm asking you, Lord, to help them not to lose heart, not to faint in Jesus' name. I'm agreeing for your perfect will in the lives of everyone. Everyone listening to the sound of my voice in Jesus name I decree and declare breakthrough provision over you breakthrough reconciliation over you breakthrough healing over you in Jesus name I decree and declare breakthrough over every area of your life and I ask you Lord to attribute these prayers to their bowls I want to help them fill their bowls so that they can tip over I want to help them fill their bowls so they can walk in the prayer answer season that I'm walking in I want to help them fill up their bowls God so help me Lord to pray so specifically and so accurately for all these ones every morning that it that it contributes to the bowl that they're trying to fill help me to empower your people help me to keep them encouraged in the fight in the battle in the midst of the resistance of the enemy help me Lord to stand in the gap and to make up a hedge for these ones who are so precious and they need to break through God they need to see the tip over just like I needed to see it for years and years and years and years I walked in measures of breakthrough and you'll walk in measures of breakthrough but there comes a Kairos time Galatians 6 9 says in due season and that Greek is the Kairos time the bubbling forth the breakthrough the harvest I decree that the enemy will not eat your harvest but that you will eat the good of the land the willing and the obedient eat the good of the land and I decree that you will eat the good of the land and I decree the weariness that tries to come upon you to give up on the promise that God made you is broken in Jesus name and I say that from today forward you will rise up with a new confidence and a new understanding of the goodness of God and the love of God for the glory of God in Jesus name and you will fight for what belongs to you and you will submit yourself to God and he will flee as you resist the devil the devil will flee as you resist him and God will empower you to resist him and I thank you Lord Lord I want all these ones to tip over like I've tipped over like our church has tipped over we've reached the tipping point the point at which things begin to spread like wildfire that's what's happened and I speak that over you revival fire in your heart first fire of God consuming everything that hinders love for his glory because he loves you and he has a prophetic life for you he has a purpose for you he has a destiny for you and he's not given up on you and even though things sometimes look dark and grim and like they've been delayed and postponed the Lord is still with you and everything's gonna happen there's going to be a fullness of time for you that po 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 I can't remember the Greek word there's gonna be a fullness of time for you you're gonna see it you're gonna walk in the breakthrough hallelujah in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name amen and amen isn't God good don't you love the Lord he's good I know it doesn't seem like it's worth it whatever you're going through I know it doesn't seem like it's worth it I know it doesn't seem like it's worth it I've been there I know it People tell me oh, it's going to be worth it. Yeah, you want to just smack them. You don't know what I'm going through. How can you tell me it's going to be worth it? You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the hell I'm going through. You don't understand the stress and the trial and the drama, the pain that I'm going through. How can you tell me it's going to be worth it? You know how people can tell you it's going to be worth it? Because they know the love of God and the goodness of God. That's how they can tell you that. So don't smack them. <laughs> I know you want to you feel like you want to smack Don't smack them. God is good and he's got your back. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you about this 90 day spirit prayer challenge in just a minute. You are welcome to join. There's no cost for it. Listen, I'll go back over that with you in a moment. I want to give you a chance to sow into the broadcast today, though. If you want to sow into the broadcast today, you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner there, guys. We need your partnership financially in prayer. We need your partnership. Consider becoming a partner today and helping us to advance this message of hope and prophetic life. Amen.
jenniferleclair.org slash donate. We just concluded the Intercessors Invitational. Most of you RSVP'd. Some of you got nasty with us and mean and were releasing witchcraft at me in the lobby. And we love you, so we let you in anyway. And you got your breakthrough, didn't you? You know who you are. There's no condemnation. But next time, keep a better attitude, guys. <laughs> Most of you were lovely. And if you didn't come in lovely, if you came in mad, you left lovely. We had so much breakthrough. There was healing. Spinal cords were healed. Uh, barrenness had been broken. I mean, that just uh, somebody had double vision for years and years and years, and their double vision was healed. This is what happens when intercessors get together in unity on one accord. No offense. I had to lead everybody into repentance at the beginning. Enemy was trying to rob everybody's blessing, but it didn't work. We prevailed. We united. Amen. Intercept. Listen, if you want to be invited in my future invita invitationals, you need to get on my email list at jenniferleclair.org. You got to get on the email list to even be considered. Amen. You got to get on the email list to even be considered. Carol was there. She really contributed. She helped us pray through. Carol Caputo, we love you. Amen. We love all of you. Some of you we know better than others. Amen. Please get on my email list if you want to be considered. I don't know how we'll administrate the next one. It was tough. People, people don't answer their emails. They're busy. They don't read that they need to RSVP. And I don't know what the answer is. We didn't want to charge for the event. If you charge for the event, people will read the emails you sent. <laughs> if there's a price on it, they'll make sure they read it. But people are busy and we did our best and God showed up. Amen. It was amazing. People were healed, received impartations. It was amazing. I got to talk to so many of you. Right, Nancy? Wasn't it good? Nancy, Bonnie, we love you up there in New York. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I'm just blown away. I was up late last night. We went out and had dinner with our pastors and some of the other intercessors. Uh, met Linda Michelle, the intercessors, and it was good. Listen, I'm going to tell you about that spirit prayer challenge in a minute. Hang on. We have a mass deliverance service on Saturday night in English and in Spanish, a mass deliverance service. You guys need to get out to this. If you're in the region, some of you need to fly down. You can watch it online, but it's it's not obviously quite the same as having someone there with you. You can watch it at ahop.tv if you just can't get here and you, you're, you're just desperate. And, you know, God can do anything. He really can. He can do anything through the channel of media. He really can. I prefer that you get here in person. More and more, we're not going to stream certain things, but I know so many people are desperate, and I don't want you going to the false deliverance ministers. And so it's not the same as being there. I'll tell you, it's not the same. But you can still benefit from it. I'm going to be teaching. God can do anything. Amen. On, sa on Sunday, I'll be teaching about female apostles and, and women in apostolic ministry. You can find that at the School of the Apostles at schoolofthespirit.tv, or you can come in person. We're having a night of worship with America's Got Talent, uh, Quintavious Johnson. That's going to be right after the Next Gen Prophets Gathering. JenniferLeclair.eventbrite.com is where you sign up for all these things. Listen, if you didn't get involved in the CR Activation Challenge when it was on Early Bird, it's not on Early Bird anymore, but it's still the same price as just a few cups of Starbucks coffee. Seriously. Invest in yourself. The CR Activation Challenge, 30 Days to Greater Prophetic Vision. This, the price will go up one more time. I'm trying to keep it low, but you guys got to get on board. I don't need one more thing to do, and these things are quite intensive for my whole staff, technology-wise, video-wise. It takes a lot of work. The What's God Saying in 2020, that's still available for you. That took hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of my staff's work. It takes a lot of work to do these things, guys. You can still get involved in What's God Saying in 2020. That's free tinyurl.com slash 2020 voice. If you get on my email list, you get emails about all this. But the Sierra Activation Challenge is still there for you. The Sierra Activation Challenge is still there for you. Let me tell you what Patricia King said about it. She has given me an endorsement. And she's been seeing a lot longer than I've been seeing. Here's what she said. Jennifer LeClaire is a seasoned equipper in the area of the prophetic with unselfish passion to see believers activated to flow in prophetic gifts and revelation. Her book, Seer Activations, is a powerful tool to give you practical exercises that are sure to position you to receive prophetic revelation, interpretation, and activation. Guys, get in on this challenge. tinyurl.com slash seeractivation. Don't wait. you got to get your questions in. Some of you over, you know, I don't know how many of you were, were on, about a week ago, I sent an email, said, send in your questions in advance. If you wait till it, the challenge is over, you won't get the answer, you won't get to get your questions answered, because once I'm done, 
I'm done. I'm not going back on there perpetually to answer questions. So please send your questions about Sears, not about your dog, not about your boo, about Sears, not about planting churches, about seeing. Okay. And a lot of you will probably ask the same questions. And that's what I'm trying to determine. How many are you going to ask? Because I want to answer them. Tinyurl.com slash Sear activation. Please don't miss this opportunity. You can, you can get it, you can get involved in it a year from now when it won't be live anymore, but you'll still get, you'll still get a lot out of it. You just can't answer your questions. That's the only difference. Amen. If you want to sell via Cash App, you can do that at dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire, capital J, capital L, capital C. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. I'm going to tell you about that prayer spirit challenge in just a second. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. Amen. You can use the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 30563. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. I ask you as you bless this offering, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Get involved in what's going to bless you. Now, the 90-day spirit prayer challenge, if you weren't on the broadcast Friday, you missed that prophetic word. I'm not going to read it again. But there was a prophetic word about praying in the spirit for 90 days. There was a prophetic word about praying in the spirit for 90 days. And so I'm doing a 90-day spirit prayer challenge. It's, it's free. There's no charge for it. If you want to sow into it, you're welcome to sow into it. And we hope that some of you do because this is a labor of love. And you get more out of things when you sow into them. You really do. You get more out of things when you sow into them. But we realize that people are hungry and desperate from all over the world. And they need help. So I'm going to be doing a 90-day spirit prayer challenge, guys. Get involved in it at tinyurl, tinyurl.com slash prayer2020 tinyurl.com slash prayer2020. Listen, guys, really, you can go read the prophecy on that website. I don't have time to read it again right now. But you can read it on the website. Decide if you want to get involved in it. God bless you. I'll see you later, guys. Bye, Facebook.